morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It's so great to have all of you here. We really appreciate uh, you taking the time to, uh, to come and see us here in Southern California. We are celebrating, hopefully many of you know, our 20th anniversary here in the United States. Back in 1994, Kia first entered the market with uh, two vehicles, 94, early 95. Uh, the Sophia and the Sportage. In my how far we have come in 20 years. We now have 12 uh, vehicles in our portfolio, each and every one absolutely fantastic. We're really excited to introduce uh, these two vehicles to you today. So it's been a busy year over the last 20 years. In 2014, it's also been a busy year. But first, let me just walk you through what's happened over the last 20 years. It's been a lot of fun. 1994, as I mentioned, entered the United States. It took us about nine years to sell our first million vehicles. Fast forward to 2014. In April, we sold our five million vehicles. So pretty exciting uh, over the last 20 years. Uh, we've got new design headquarters in 2007. Uh, our first production plant in 2009 opened up down in West Point, Georgia. I think many of you have been down to visit us there. Uh, that was uh, fantastic to see. Uh, we've gotten the motorsports along the way. And uh, in 2013, the brand entered the J.D. Power Top 10 in IQS. So um, we're, we're still moving forward, still lots to do. Particularly in, uh, in 2014, uh, we launched the all-new K900. And I think uh, many of you were with us when we were just up the road earlier this year. Uh, this vehicle has been an absolutely home, home run for us in terms of what it's doing to the brand. It's uh, raising the awareness for the brand. It's serving as a halo for the brand. People are online searching it, coming into our dealerships, maybe not necessarily buying the K900, but buying Cadenzas and Optimus and Sportages and Souls. So it's been, it's been a huge success from our perspective. Uh, but that's not the only thing that we've been doing this year. For those of you who are with us in Detroit, uh, you remember, may remember seeing this vehicle here, the GT4 Stinger. Design has been such an important part of our brand transformation over the last five years. What we wanted to signal to you is going forward with a vehicle like this, design is going to continue to play a huge part in our future. So stay tuned for more uh, design-led products. Uh, other things that's happened this year, as I mentioned, our 5 million vehicles sold in April. Would you believe 4 million of those vehicles are still in operation? on the road today. So a lot of opportunity to connect with uh, our Kia consumers and show them our new portfolio of products. Uh, we also moved ahead of Ford, Honda, and Mazda in the JD Power Customer Service Index. Very important for us as we transform our brand is to get our dealers to make sure that they are transforming the experience they're giving their customers and it's starting to show. In fact, uh, we also had the largest brand improvement in the J.D. Power Sales Satisfaction Index. We also have the Optima and the Soul win the uh, Auto Pacific Vehicle Satisfaction Award. And we also had uh, Soul ranked number one in a segment in the J.D. Power Appeal Study for the third straight year. So what's important to note here is all of these awards here and accolades are all driven by consumers. Consumers are recognizing how far this brand has come. They're coming into our dealerships and they're buying our vehicles. In fact, uh, in the first half of this year, we've sold more vehicles to date than all of these brands here. In fact, we've had our best first half ever in 2014. In May, we had our best month ever. We sold over 60,000 vehicles for the first time. And all of this has really led to a lot of momentum for the brand over the last 20 years. We're anticipating here in 2014 we'll have our best year ever. So still a few more months to go, but uh, so far so good. Now, so there's a lot of reasons to feel good uh, here at Kia Motors. Uh, there's just a little uh, factoid here. There's 525,600 minutes in a year. Uh, in 2013, we sold 535,000 535, new Kias. That's more than one per minute. And this year's pace is even faster. So where do we go from here? Well, just we'd like to continue to go up, but we know we have some challenges. In fact, uh, one of uh, your colleagues uh, probably expressed it best 
with this quote here, despite vastly improved products, the Korean upstart has yet to achieve widespread acceptance like Honda or Toyota. And we, over the last five years, as we've mentioned, we've launched 14 new vehicles, connecting with new consumers, changing the perception of our brand. But we know that there are still people out there that are, are doubters of the brand. We read all of the articles that you write. Uh, what's really interesting for us and what's important for us is we go through and we read the reader comments that people post. And it's surprising to us by the number of people that still have doubts about the brand. Good news is, it's, it's reducing over time, less and less. We've got more brand advocates coming in uh, to our defense, but there are still some quality concerns out there amongst people. In fact, in the ALG brand perception quality for mainstream brands, Kia ranked below, whoops, oh, sorry, all of those brands uh, there. The reality is, in the JD Power initial quality study, we were sixth amongst all automakers, ranking above all of these brands here. So if I go back and show you where the perception is, get that going here. All right, so here we are, down here. Perception is here. We rank below all of these brands here, but the reality is it's almost a complete inverse we're above all of those brands. So this is a challenge that we continue to face as the head marketer. It's my biggest challenge is changing the perception. So we've got JD Power, initial quality study, six overall amongst mainstream brands. In the Strategic Vision Total Quality Index, we're ranked number one amongst all mainstream brands. Again, ahead of a lot of formidable competitors, brands that have a perceived perception much higher than what ours is. It, uh, the truth of the matter is that we have world-class quality, and you'll see that again today when we introduce you to these great new vehicles. Now, uh, to help prove the point of our quality and durability and reliability, we got into motorsports about five years ago, and we have had some pretty great success. We've had uh, 11 victories in five seasons. We've had uh, 33 podium finishes in 72 races. But this year, in 2014, we're pleased to announce, and hopefully many of you are aware of this, that we actually won uh, the uh, Pirelli Grand Touring Sport and the Touring Car Manufacturer Championships in 2014. So the Optima and the Forte Coupes both won the Manufacturing Championships this year. Five years in, two Manufacturing Championships. So we're feeling pretty good. It was a very exciting time for us. So hopefully this will translate into a continuing change of the perception of our brand. All right, in fact, uh, others have recognized how far our brand has come. Uh, for those of you who were with us back in 2009 when we introduced the Soul down in Miami, uh, you asked, you know, who, how are you launching this vehicle? Who are you partnering with? There weren't really a lot of people that were interested in partnering with the Kia brand at the time, but my how things have changed. So we're now partnering with some of the most esteemed and prestigious brands in the country and in the world. The NBA, the LPGA, FIFA World Cup, uh, Australian tennis, Sunday night football. So a lot of uh, really great partners to help convey and uh, showcase our brand. Now, one thing we're not walking away from is value. Value continues to be core to our brand, and uh, Orth and Steve will talk to you about the great value that we're gonna offer on these two products here. So rest assured, as we continue to progress here in the United States, uh, we will not be walking away from what's been important to us. In fact, uh, uh, the Soul recently won the Residual Value Award from ALG, and ALG has said residual value is a great indicator of brand strength, so we think we're in uh, pretty good shape there. Now, let me just uh, kind of summarize what uh, I've been talking about over the last few minutes. Uh, we've got world-class quality, and that's what we're hoping it's going to be conveyed today when we drive the, uh, the Sedona and the Soul EV. Uh, we've got world-class design. Peter Schreier and his team continue to just do a phenomenal job of introducing uh, our great new vehicles to our brand. 
Uh, we've got our uh, products made right here in the United States with great quality. In fact, over 40% of all Kia vehicles sold in the United States are built down at our plant in West Point, Georgia, which is building both the Sorento and the Optima. And uh, we're about to begin a new era right after we introduce uh, these products this week. Next week in Paris, we're going to introduce the all-new 2016 Sorento. So stay tuned for that. But this really signals is that our, our cadence of new products uh, is going to continue. And uh, this is going to be built down in West Point, Georgia. Uh, for those of you who may not be aware, just a couple of weeks ago, we also announced that we're going to be manufacturing down in Mexico in 2016. So again, a new era beginning for our brand. But before we get to that point, we've got two great new vehicles to share with you. The first is the Sedona. For those of you who are with us in New York, we referred to the Sedona as a multi-purpose vehicle. And a few of you chuckled and said, come on, really? It's, it's a minivan. Well, minivans were introduced in the 1980s, and we think this is really going to disrupt the minivan segment. It's got CUV-like design that Ward's going to talk about. It's filled with innovation and technology. From our perception, there's nothing mini about this vehicle. This vehicle is also a global vehicle. We sell it around the world, and everywhere else in the world, they call it a multi-purpose vehicle. So in the traditional Kia way, we're going to challenge traditional convention and thinking and call this a multi-purpose vehicle. And next, Steve's going to come up and talk about the Soul EV. The Soul EV is really the centerpiece of our clean mobility efforts. Great new vehicle wrapped in the Soul body. It's going to be a very exciting time in the coming months. Thank you.